Monday, Eagles fans. Nikki Stees here. So we had our second preseason game yesterday. The final score was us 21, 20 victory over the Browns, but the final score don't matter in preseason. What does matter and what stands out the most are the individual performances. So in this game, we didn't get Jalen Hurts, Devontae Smith, A.J. Brown, those guys. I mean, I said it in my preview. I would like to have seen those guys get a couple series. I would like to see the Browns guys starters get a few series, you know, see what they could do against the starters. But, you know what, it's a preseason game, so I'm not really surprised by it. It is what it is. But what we did get out of it, and first I did make a video yesterday, brief, like a short video, you know, giving Boston Scott, Kenneth Gainwell credit on a solid first half from that game, particularly Boston Scott, you know, that first drive, because he looked impressive on that first drive. Again, while it is preseason, Nice performance and shows that he does have value on this team. You know, he put together a nice couple runs there and helped us march down the field on that drive. And he showed, yeah, he's got. There's a reason we keep Boston Scott on this roster. And if heaven forbid Miles Sanders gets, you know, is unable to return and injuries are bothering him, which he's already dealing with injuries. But I'm just saying, throughout the regular season, God forbid he's hurt or he's fumbling, you can start to use Boston Scott more. If that's the case, heaven forbids. Because he definitely has a valuable place in this offense. So there's that right there. Gardner Minshew, he's 14 for 17. How many yards was it? I got it up on ESPN's website. 142 yards. Joshua Dobbs, who started for the Browns, 14 for 21, 41. Okay, so those are nice stats. If this were a regular season game and we had the fantasy league going, that would be nice. Nice stat padding for a fantasy league if this more of the regular season. But then again, we're talking a preseason game. But the couple things I did take away from it were there's two wide receivers who stood out. Oh, I mean, there's one more thing. That's where Jason Huntley goes. I was looking to see what he was going to do at that performance against the Jets. Obviously, he didn't really do anything special. I mean, he had eight carries for 22 yards, 2.8 average. He did have a 10-yard run, but nothing really Special from Jason Huntley here. Yeah, but now we two wide receivers that stood on most. We had Deion Kane. So Deion Kane, what do you have? Five receptions for 66 yards. Long as 24. You got a couple nice looks there. So it's a solid individual performance. But we got to remember something, too. This is a preseason game after all. This isn't him going against some of the starters against... Some of the teams are playing. This isn't him going against the starters, against the Cowboys, or against you know, the Packers, or you know Vikings, or any of the teams we're going to be playing this season. So yes, while it is a, I mean it's a solid, it's a good preseason performance, but also you got to factor in too with Deion King when thinking about where would he fit. He's going to be there competing in the wide receiver room with AJ Brown. Devontae Smith, Zach Paschal, Quez Watkins. Not to mention, you know, Dallas Goddard's going to be in the passing game too. So where would Deion Keene fit in there? If someone, heaven forbid, were to get injured, that's where I would see him fitting in. So, yes, well, it's a nice preseason performance, nice stats for a preseason game. Remember, it's just one preseason game. And even if he does make the roster, where's he going to fit in, as I pointed out, when you think about it? I can't really think of anywhere else. So I'm going to think about. But this has created a bit of a... The thing that came out of this game most was a bit of a wide receiver controversy now because some people are looking at, okay, Deion Kane looked better than Rager. We could be making a trade for Rager soon. We think it would be best for him to start fresh for all parties involved, for Rager himself and for the Eagles. It'd just be best for both sides to start fresh. Because you could perhaps like talk about maybe Deion Kane. Maybe he could make the practice squad. You know, and if someone gets hurt, he could get bumped up if you need to. That's one thing you could do with a Deion Kane because Right. I mean right, and what was it? So that's what I'm thinking they could do with a Deion Kane right there. But back to Rager, I mean, like I said, it's not much for him. So you could possibly trade in. That could leave some room for Deion Kane or Devin Allen to get some playing time if a Rager trade goes through. And speaking of Devin Allen, he had only one reception, but the one reception he did, even though it was a preseason game, was impressive. You saw that. You saw our backup quarterback, Reed Sinnett, was his name? 
Yeah, Reed Sinnott, if I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but he just chubbed the he threw a pass, threw it up there, and Devin Allen was just zoom, right? He just wide open as could be. No one even there. I looked up like <laughs> that speed, the Olympic hurdle speed right there from Devin Allen. That was nice. That was nice. <laughs> he was as wide open as could be. I mean, I know it's a preseason game. You're not going against the starters on some of the top teams. I know that. But still, that speed can be tough for any more defense to, to maintain. I don't care if it's a top team. I don't care if it's the Jets, the Houston Texans, who we will actually be playing in the regular season. I don't care if it's the Cowboys. I don't care who you're talking about. Packers, Vikings, Lions, Bears, Cardinals, whoever it is. That's going to be tough for anyone to stop that speed right there. So he definitely has a shot at, I feel from that play, he has a shot at possibly being productive on an NFL roster. Now, speed alone isn't going to make him a top wide receiver. No, I'm not saying that. But at least gives him a shot at least being a factor in the offense come regular season time. And there's another possibility there. You could trade Rager, give Devin Allen some playing time as well, you know, incorporate him in. I mean, maybe you could try a double reverse with him. You know, you could use him if we're in the deep pass game, you know, during the regular season. Those are some possibilities right there you could get from Devin Allen that I took away from. Him, especially seeing that speed the way again, he just zoomed past everyone <laughs> wide open, no one even close to him. So, I definitely think that speed could help us out in the passing game, especially the deep passing game. But you guys can let me know in the comment section what you took away from this game, what you liked, and what you think this could who you think could be incorporated more into the offense during the regular season. Let me know what you took away from this game in the comment section. But that's all mainly I took away from this game right there. So everyone watch, thank you for watching. If you haven't done so, drop a like, help out with the algorithm. Then leave a comment, let me know what you took away. Subscribe if you're new, hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new vid. Most of all, everyone watching, have a wonderful day or night. Nikki Stees signing off.